this short screencast is going to give you an idea of what you need to know in preparation for Lab 3A, our film festival, on Friday, as well as just some general information about eyewitness testimony. Obviously, the powers of observation are super important. They need to be as accurate as possible. Accurate notes are really important as well because you saw in the video how malleable, how changing memory can be by the power of suggestion. On top of that, most people aren't objective because of bias or prejudice. Biases and prejudices are preconceived notions that people come to a situation with that they've ta been taught or they've learned or they've picked up over the years. Bias is an inclination that's not objective. So anyway, there can be positive or negative bias. And then prejudice is definitely a negative feeling. What needs to happen with eyewitness testimony is the bias and the prejudice have to be sifted through. So it's best to get as many eyewitness statements as possible and sort those into a table. Then from there, you look for similarities and differences and try to gather as much correct information as possible. This is a sample data table where you have three different witnesses on the left hand side and then there are four different pieces, main general categories of information I guess I should say that are collected. So location of the witness, where they were when the crime occurred, the timing when were they there? What they heard and what they saw. This is pretty general. This is what we're going to be using for our activities coming up. And we saw a little bit about police lineups as well. It's a chance for eyewitnesses to look at several people, attempt to choose the person they saw committing the, pro committing the crime. Problems arise when you see a lineup, as we saw in the video, a lineup where the actual person isn't present and the mind, the memory, is trying to search for anything to try and make that person match. Sometimes in police practice, the suspect is allowed to choose the, petit the people that participate in the lineup. This is really important because then the suspect, there, that eliminates the possibility of police bias. The suspect chooses, then you know that that's going to be objective. Remember that Lab 3A is our film festival. We have that going on on Friday. Um, make sure that the crime scene is fully visible and the criminal's face is only partially visible.